Well, guys, we're narrowing down to the last dam here at Ulivoimala. Ulivoimala, that's a card. Ulivoimala shop here in Kimpele, yeah. Finland. And I'm getting every, all the words and everything down, but I have one special truck left for you, and that is this 2020 Scania S650. R650. R650 right here, which is something very, very special because it's one of one just completed by the shop here at Olivo Mala. Great. They just converted this to a fully stick shift manual transmission. So, Ville. Ville, yes. Is going to run us through everything. He's the owner here at the shop. You guys seen where we did a full shop tour here, but we're going to do a full tour of this truck right here because this is the first truck. Yeah, it's a first net. ever. Yeah, R650 manual. manual. Yeah, because they didn't. Conver offer. Of course, they made in the factory. But this is converted. Yeah, converted. And I think you said you can confidently say that we can convert any automatic to manual now. Yeah. So exactly. I don't think anyone's ever done this. No. So first of its kind, right here to be seen on the YouTube channel. And like I said, if you guys ever want to get this done to your truck or want any other work done, you can check right down here in the description and get a hold of Uli Mala. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nailing it down and uh, hit them up, guys. So let's check this thing out. All right, so give us a rundown. So this truck used to be white. Do you have any pictures of it? Yeah, I have a picture of it. So uh, we'll throw a picture up here on the screen of what the truck looked like when you bought it. Yeah. And you basically sold the truck to the customer. Yeah. And then he said, I want all of this stuff done. To yeah, him. exactly. And you're making it all happen. So yeah. start at the front and uh, work your way to the back. What all, what all have you done to this truck? So, of course, we changed the color. He wanted this specific silver color. His old truck is also the same color. So that's what he chooses. So then full the color change. Yeah. And that included, that's something you did right here at the shop too. Now this is well, painted I mean, outside the shop, shop, yeah. Facilitated by you. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. door jams and everything. So pretty, pretty sweet paint job, no doubt. Everything. Then the bull bar, all the lights. These lights are nice. I'm about to yeah. give me some of these for my trucks. Yeah. <laughs> they look really bright. So bull bar up here spotlights top and bottom yeah oh of course some flashlights warning lights i mean extra work lights ah lots of extra work lights yeah. right there and then something we just drove the truck but we're gonna go drive it again on camera yeah yeah but the camera system's outside really cool this is something that they added right here in the shop and that activates with the turn signals yeah so really cool Whenever you turn your right turn signal on, your right camera shows you what is on this side of the truck. So it eliminates one of your big blind spots. Yeah. Really cool side covers here. Is that something you guys added also? No, that's all factory. All factory, okay. Yeah. And that box? That box we added, okay. but that's only because if we come here, we move all the batteries to that box. Ah because the trailer what the customer is using, the legs are so near to the truck, mm. so he needs all the space here. Gotcha, so you shorten the truck up. Yeah. How, how, you said 14 inches or something like that? Yeah, it's something like that. Battery box, something extra, 45. So, pretty unique back half on this truck. It's obviously a six by two configuration with a lift axle in the rear and it was shortened. So there's still some work to be done, but it's my last day here and they got the truck running and driving today and tested yeah. everything so there's still some cosmetic things to be finished so don't judge the final product final product i'm sure will be on your instagram and everywhere yeah. else when it's done done um, with some different tires and wheels and stuff on it but you know full manual conversion also before we jump to the transmission stuff you guys full fabbed this cover for the frame yeah and also to the front but it's not here it's okay. outside, gotcha. we have to install that later. So full deck plate, as we call it in America, to cover all the gear and everything here, but new. All right, how do you say that brand name? Uh, Just. Just. Yes, Just Fifth Wheel. And where are they made at? I think 
Netherlands. Yeah, we, we, we call them Jost or Jost. No uh, one, <laughs> Jost. So, it's Jost. <laughs> so, so this is a cast iron fifth wheel, but it's got the polymer plates on it. So yeah. No grease. Yeah, yeah, you can use grease. But you don't have to. Yeah. So new fifth wheel that is adjustable. And that's pretty much what you've done. I mean, other than yeah, there's some this other truck stuff. used to have the sliding fifth wheel, yeah. but he doesn't need that. So it's better to have the fixed one. There's some other really cool stuff they did on the interior. We'll show that in a minute, but just to show some stuff on the outside. So tell me about the transmission. So this, this is like a, you swap the new transmission in here or? No, that's the factory transmission, but we just add all the manual gear stuff to it. So original transmission just stick shift added. So sounds like a lot of work. It is a lot of work and it's not easy, must say that. But now we know how to do it. So you've nailed it down and this yeah. is the one stop shop manual swap. Yeah. <laughs> El Manuel. <laughs> yeah. So fully functional, fully manual transmission with a retarder working, everything works perfect. Yeah, yeah, everything works. Adaptive cruise control works. Works. Cruise control works. Works. Retarder. Works. Everything. Yeah, everything works. Just like a factory truck. Yeah, just so like the factory. What was a ma uh, automated manual transmission is now a manual manual transmission. Yeah. As my American Opti self. Opticruise is basically manual gearbox with the robotic gear changes. Yeah. So, so we now it's just all, remove it, all the robotic stuff on. And now manual gear changes. So still has a clutch in there. But I think you replaced the clutch in there, didn't you? It yeah. Looked, it looks brand new when duty. it was on the lift. So new clutch inside there. So, all right, well, let's hop in the truck and see what's going on inside. Yeah. So first hand look, this is like my first ever like Scania review of a truck. It's pretty cool. So you dip the dash here in like a and like a wood grain look, yep. this stuff looks really freaking nice. Like it looks so good. It is really nice. The interior is already really nice. The trucking company upholstered in the floor. That looks really good. Is all this stuff you guys done also, right? Yeah, this is all leather. So it's no, it's not painted. Yeah, all custom leather interior. Yeah, like you said, it's not painted. This is leather. Yeah. On the uh, headboard there. I see you've got some watermelon lights. Yeah, of course. Some American watermelon lights yeah. inside the cab here. I really like how the how it's backlit right there. Yeah. That's really cool. That that was also something what the customer wanted. He wanted the V8 logo. Yeah, yeah. But he wanted that it's on the wall that it doesn't take any space from the bed. Mhm. Mm Makes sense. Yeah. Some upper overhead lights and some button tuck headliner. Wow, everything is covered in leather. That looks really good, <laughs> really good. So over here on the dash has got the same wood grain dipping on it. Yep. But hey, what is that? That's the stick. Manual transmission in this truck. So again, this thing was not a factory manual transmission truck and we've added it to it. Yeah. So pretty cool there. And everything functions 100% inside here. Added the clutch pedal. Yep. So this is one that did not have a clutch pedal, no, right? No, no, no. So it wasn't, it a, wasn't an automatic that had a third pedal. It was just nothing. Yeah, two pedal automatic. So you've added all of that. Yeah. So everything underneath the front grille has been added for the clutch and all yeah. that. Yeah, main cylinder, slave cylinder. Everything. Everything. So lots of things have been added to make it function. Yeah. You know, as a factory manual transmission truck, so. All right, well, I guess the next thing to do is we just drive around the block yeah. and confirm that it shifts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, here she is backing out the doors. Oh, <laughs> had a door close on us. It is freaking cold here. It's like negative 15 degrees. I'm sorry, like negative seven or eight degrees Celsius here. It's really cold, really cold for this Florida man. Backing out under a manual transmission power. So we drove uh, a truck similar to this at the Scania test track the other day, but nothing uh, with a manual. So this should be fun. All right, here we go. 
so smooth and tight. Obviously, it's all brand new. This is a cable shift, right? Yeah, right? cables. On these newer trucks, so. All right, we gotta find somewhere dark to like show how bright these headlights or the uh, lights are too. So I haven't really done too much filming on just how snowy it is here outside, other than us doing donuts. But there is snow everywhere, <laughs> like everywhere. I'm not used to seeing this. This is everyday life for you, but all of the snow. Even the seatbelt chime works. Yeah, it seems to. <laughs> Oh boy. All right, we're gonna kick these high beams on in just a second we get out here to this field. It's like daylight, it's crazy. Whoa! <laughs> Feel bad for the people driving towards us. Yeah. Check that out. Need some of these for the truck back home. Super smooth and quiet in here too. Yeah, it runs some ice. So smooth. Because yeah, when we were on the test track, I mean, it was like a test track, so there wasn't like yeah any road conditions or anything to really to mess with, other than just like the pavement. But the truck handles so nice, and just like the creature comforts in here. The dash is all new compared to my old truck back home. Yeah. Maybe a little more there in front of the <laughs> Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> it's crazy to me that here in Europe, there's no like old school trucks on the road, really. I mean, they're all just kind of retired. There is, but you cannot really see them on the city area. Ah, that makes sense. I mean, the but farm is... trucks and stuff like that. Ah, okay. Lots of old POS. Yeah, that makes sense. Something to point out. Coffee maker in this truck. Gotta have a coffee maker in Finland, no doubt. Yeah. That's like a must have. Where's this? Is there a sauna in here somewhere? I think up there somewhere. <laughs> you just push a button? Yeah. All right, so here's the cameras working. So turn signal is on, and that left side camera is activated. So flick the right side, and there's our right side. It's pretty cool. So outside shot of the shop here when we get back we'll kind of show you that i guess we're here now but such a nice place at night all lit up very well there's old dumpy <laughs> all right i'm out here in the snow getting the shots for you guys of this freaking unit of a truck here it's cold These things look so freaking sexy coming down the road. Oh my gosh, where'd the truck go? <laughs> Good Lord. Such a sweet looking rig. All right, here comes my chariot. Oh, he's leaving me. What the heck? Where's it going? Got uh, some summer tires on it, so he's spinning out a little bit. So we made it back to the shop, and at first glance, everything just looks so freaking nice and organized on these dashes. Everything's really easy to get to. No great big buttons blown out of proportion. Some people are saying I'm hating on American stuff. I'm not hating. I'm just admiring and, I don't know the word for it, just appreciating European design. Um, just in the, the uh, AC vents look like they're not from the 1900s. <laughs> crazy but the shifter is really cool i could definitely see if i got one of these putting a big american shifter on it way up here extending extending it out a little bit but uh so there's the shift pattern on this very strange same thing is similar to my four series back home but definitely different than uh an eaton style transmission this one also has the air lock steering wheel so very nice leather stitched steering wheel also looks like it's brand new they maybe just replaced it but even like on the dipping here they re-engraved the um, buttons and everything so even after it was dipped you can still see everything and I'm pretty sure all these things light up too so this thing's got the chains that fall down to um, engage for snow and ice and stuff that's pretty cool 
but let's kick the dash on here. Very nice new looking dash. Oh, that's sick. Everything is in um, finish right now, I think, so don't judge me. I'm not sure, but really cool sound system in it. I think this one may have some storage here. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on. I don't know what to do. I don't want to touch too many things because this truck is sold. Refrigerator right there that slides out. So a lot of folks have been like kind of mentioning and saying things about how the room, but this is a really spacious truck. And I, I can honestly say it's just as much room or more room than like a flat top like coffin sleeper or Peterbilt. Now they do offer like Scania has the long line trucks, which has like a lot more room. And unfortunately I wasn't able to get my hands on one of those while I was here in Finland, maybe on another trip back here, or I'm planning on going to Europe, um, like Europe, obviously, but, um, sometime maybe back to Sweden or England, I don't know, just to do some more filming with European style trucks, but maybe I'll get my hands on a long line at that time. But really cool truck here that the shop here at Yoli Mala built. I'm getting it down close. So let's go find Vele and talk to him a little bit more about the truck and we'll wrap it up. All right, final thoughts on the whole project. I mean, I'm pretty, pretty psyched about how it turned out. And it runs and works flawless. So what do you think? Really happy about it. Like <laughs> you were pretty stoked about it. Yeah. Everything today. So yeah. now being able to offer this to other customers. So if anyone wants this done to their truck, yeah, they just need to hit you guys up, call drop, us, drop email you an email, us, send DM. Yeah. So DM on Instagram. Um, you want to maybe say something in Finnish. So maybe some of your Finnish truck drivers that watch can know what to do. Yeah, soittaa meille, lähettää sähköpostia, tai tulee käymään paikan päälle. That's it. There you go. <laughs> so, anyone viewing and watching in Finland and speaks Finnish, so you know what to do if you want to bring your truck over here to get a manual swap done. Who knows, maybe someone will have a 770 in here for you to swap. Yeah, I that, think that, that will be next on the line. That'd be really cool. Yeah, make that happen. Yeah. So, so it will be the... The only thing. one in the whole world. That'd be something really unique. Yeah, but maybe for you. Uh, maybe, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? So I can't wait to see this thing done. Be sure to check them out on Instagram, guys, whenever this thing is completely wrapped up. It'll probably be about another week. It'll be ready to rip. I think end of this week. Hey, there we oh, go. Cool. So maybe we'll be seeing this thing driving down the road end of the week. Yeah. Completed project. It's going to be really, really cool. So there's been quite a few comments about our engine that we're shipping back to the USA that came out of this truck here. This truck is for parts, so people can contact you maybe to buy some parts off of it. Yeah, everything but is for sale. Everything is for sale. Yeah. I think you want, the box is also for sale. Someone mentioned asking about the box, so pretty much everything on it. You guys bought it to use for parts. Yeah, exactly. Parts truck, if anyone sees anything on here, if it's not already sold, hit them up, drop them a DM or email. Or Best call us. Or call. Yeah, I'll put all the description, everything down here below, so check that out. Well, it's been fun. It's been a short trip. I wish we could stay here a little bit longer. Next time I'll plan to stay here for like at least a solid week. Two weeks. Or that. Maybe get an Airbnb. If I stay for two weeks, I'm about to bring the family, no doubt. So I think that's possible. Yeah, it is possible. I think maybe that's what's going to have to happen. So maybe spring, yep. maybe April sometime, I'll make my way back over here and hang out for a couple weeks. <laughs> My wife's going to watch this and be like, oh, I don't know about that. But um, shout out to the whole team here for being more than hospitable to the American and everybody doing their best to speak English as good as possible so that I can understand it's time for me to study up on some uh, Swedish and Finnish and maybe learn a few words yeah. so that I can at least uh, say hello or something in Finnish. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed the series here in Europe. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and go over to Oliver Mala. Yep. And follow them on Instagram right here on the screen and in the description below. And let's get them to 10,000 followers. I think that's the goal. Please. That would be sweet. And hit them up if you need any work, guys. We'll see you later. Peace.